uh, Biwoto was moved to after he was pronounced dead at the Nairobi hospital. And on standby, as I've already told you, is uh, Patrick Amimo. Now, Amimo, what more can you tell us? I understand there's a press, uh, there's a press briefing. Uh, thank you, Yusuf. At, at the moment, is that uh, they still uh, the their relatives here, the family is here. Also, uh, Biwot's wife is is also present. We have the daughter Esther Koimet, who is a principal secretary in the, in the current government, and uh, she is uh, she will be giving us a brief uh, in a few minutes about really what transpired because uh, she's uh, getting uh, the information as it were, and that's uh, any moment from now uh, she will be talking to us. That's why we what that's what we are waiting for. Uh, but as it were. These, uh, this particular uh, um, this particular death occurred at around midnight midday that's uh, almost two two hours ago and we are told that uh, the late passed on at his uh, at his Kleleshua home uh, that one will be getting further confirmation to that with uh, with the daughter when she briefs us uh, in a few minutes uh, you know very well that uh, the late uh, the late has had a sterling career he was a businessman he was a businessman uh, with that interest in, in the oil industry he also had at least interest in the, in, in machinery we know we had at least uh, agriculture. He was uh, uh, he had a company that was selling agricultural products or machinery. Is uh, is is uh, also is a person who is uh, apart from being a politician, having represented Kenya South from 1979 to 2007. He also served as a, as a minister in the in both uh, the Moi administration and also uh, for, uh, also. Part, uh, for at least for, for, for in the Moya administration and, and at least eight ministries, including the ministries of energy. We had uh, regional development. He also served in uh, trade and commerce. He was also in tourism, where he was credited for having made uh, very, very many, many, um, having launched uh, many uh, mega projects, like we have the, the tourism, uh, the Kenya Tourism Board with the brain behind it. We also had uh, during the uh, during the integration of the East African community in the 60s, he was he, he played a really a, a pivotal role. Uh, the late also joined the civil service in 1960, uh, 1968 as a district officer and served in Tharaka, Tharaka and Meru part. And the people in, in Meru, especially those residents of Mkubu, uh, could re really remember what uh, the late Nicholas Biwot did to them uh, during that time in the 60s when he was uh, a district officer in Meru and really he brought a lot of development projects in that particular area. Uh, we've, we saw he was also in charge of at least resettling uh, those Mau Mau, those people uh, who fought during the Mau Mau. Remember, after independence, uh, the people, some of the Mau Mau refused to come out of the forest and uh, Biwot uh, was also tasked that duty to convince these uh, the fighters to come from the forest and be given uh, uh, land to resettle after because the government was getting uh, was getting on board. We had now uh, gotten our independence and so Biwot also took that initiative to resettle uh, people through the, the what, what we call the one million, uh, one million, uh, one million uh, acre scheme uh, at, at that time. Uh, so it's something that uh, is had uh, that, that career in, in during um, during the minister uh, when he was serving as the minister for energy, uh, we saw wherever he went, at least he transformed that ministry. That's why he got that uh, that word uh, a powerful uh, mi a powerful uh, powerful minister because whatever whatever minister he took, he transformed it and it became a talk. A talk a, 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 the, the ministry became vis visible. So it was an indiv individual. He had a powerful. Uh, it was a powerful personality who used to turn around things. Uh, we saw uh, during uh, when he was serving as a minister for regional uh, Reg East African Cooperation and Regional. Uh, regional um, uh, regional co uh, cooperation. He did uh, put in place uh, the East African co cooperation, especially in matters to do with trade. And we see those uh, uh, we bu building up on those particular. Um, Works that he did uh, during that, that time uh, as a minister for East, Afri uh, East Africa Regional Cooperation. We've seen when he served also in transport. There was also the things to do with the East, uh, the customs, the, the customs union. He was also the the, the the brain behind it and also tried to ensure that uh, uh, it, it takes off. So uh, looking at uh, the late uh, Biwot, he's been uh, he's been a uh, person who served both he's, as a business person, uh, he's, he's also been a politician, and also for the residents of Kyo South during his uh, his, his, his tenure. I remember uh, uh, also uh, having um, having joined at that time that, that that particular time when I was I remember when uh, uh, with the students from that constituency I remember that time um, some of those two in that particular area he was also uh, really took charge of uh, paying bursary for some students in that particular in this Kyo constituency so I think uh, it's something that um, uh, for, to people of Kyo South they've seen uh, at least they've lost uh, a leader a uh, leader who was uh, of their choice now just joining me uh, is about at least the family members could be are coming anytime now maybe to brief us on uh, on the 
on what uh, really might, might have happened uh, with regard to the death of uh, B Nicholas B. Uh, B. Watt. Okay. Yeah, um, I, we Ready? thank you for being here. Um, yeah, we confirm that uh, that he's he's arrested, um, and further information will be given once the family meets. Thank you. Um, today is uh, another sad day. We have lost uh, uh, former cabinet minister Nicholas uh, Biwot, and uh, he was a very humble man, a person who helped a lot of people. And it's a very sad day to learn of his uh, death. And uh, this is to really uh, pass our message of condolences to the family of uh, Nicholas B. Watt for this uh, loss. And uh, we really uh, have no much to say at this moment other than just uh, saying that uh, this is a very sad day for people of Kenya, uh, in particular the family and the, the community from the Keio. <laughs> Uh, who have uh, enjoyed the leadership of uh, Nicholas B. Ward for a long period of time. Um, so further information will be provided to you uh, as uh, the new developments uh, uh, come in. Thank you very much. At this uh, particular time, uh, I think we'll leave that uh, until full information is, uh, is available. Uh, and when all the families have been uh, informed, all the family members have been informed uh, of this. So we will leave that for, for now. Perhaps to confirm whether the, the, the late passed, in, passed, passed on in hospital or at home, yes. or there is somebody maybe to clarify what happened, whether it passed on at home or it was at, uh, <coughs> at a, hospital, a hospital facility. Well, um, the, the information is that um, he, he fell ill in the morning and he was brought to the hospital uh, here at Nairobi Hospital. Uh, and uh, when he arrived, uh, I think he, he, he had already um, uh, passed on. And, uh, but that is information that, again, will be uh, confirmed uh, once, once uh, we have full information on that. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Governor, what do you remember of the late Alex? Even that was maybe a long Thank you very much. First and foremost, uh, on my own behalf and the people of Wasingishu County, where Honorable Nicholas Biwot was also a resident and a serious investor, I want to pass a message of condolences to the family, friends, relatives, and to the residents of Wasingishu and Gia Market, where Honorable Nicholas Biwot came from. As a young leader, Honorable Biwot was among those leaders uh, who gave guidance, particularly to those of us who are young. I remember a number of times he has called me and the governor for Ilgeo uh where there seemed to have been issues and, uh, given us guidance on how to do, um, to conduct ourselves and even how to, to, to work for the county and serve the people. So as a county, we've, we've lost uh, one of our elders, 
uh, one of our political mentors, uh, and is indeed a big loss for us. Uh, and particularly also for us as a region, uh, we really feel that really the death has robbed us of uh, leaders. Uh, particularly on this month, we've lost um, Senator Gigi Kariuki, we've lost Waisiri Ngaiseri, we've now lost Cabinet uh, Minister Biwot, and we really want to say that it's tough time for our region and even for us as people of Wasingish. But we do remember Honorable Biwata as one of the um, hardworking people uh, in terms of investment and also in terms of supporting the community socially. Uh, he has really done a lot. If you look at the number of schools Honorable Nicholas Biwata built, both in Ngio Marakwet County and, and Wasingishu County, uh, really it, it has left a mark in so many people. Today we have so many people who have gone to to school, uh, courtesy of uh, Honorable Nicholas Biwot, and they are making their contribution now to the nation. So it's a big loss for us. Thank you very much. What do you remember of the late, uh, the late Nicholas Biwot, given that you are still a young politician? What do you, can you learn from you? Thank you so much. First and foremost, I want to join my colleagues to say Pole to the family of uh, the late Captain Secretary. It is sad indeed that uh, we as a region, the Rift Valley region, we've lost three prominent uh, personalities within a very short period. We lost Senator G.G. Karioki and now CS Cabinet uh, Secretary and, uh, Joseph Ngaiseri. And today we woke up uh, this morning to realize again the, uh, that we've lost uh, uh, former Cabinet Secretary Nicholas Biwot. I really want to say uh, probably to the entire family and the uh, relatives, friends, and all the residents of uh, Wasingishu and Elgeo Marrakech. Um, I know he had, he had made a lot of friends, like uh, he made a difference in our lives as young leadership, and he had touched so many people in terms of um, direct supporting them, paying school fees and supporting programs, building charges and many other things. It is really sad. Uh, we want to say probably to everyone including His Excellency the President, who was his very close friend and the Deputy President. Uh, as a Jubilee uh, uh, party and as a coalition, we, it is sad. The three people that we've lost are dear to us. So we are really saying as we mourn, uh, probably to Kenyans, and I want to urge most Kenyans to stop speculating in terms of um, when we lose someone, uh, there are many things we need to, uh, to, to wait for, for post-mortem and uh, other things like those than uh, to just speculate because it affects the family and the friends, the people who are dear to them. It is very wrong to do speculation. So thank you so much. And, uh, for uh, CS for that also at one point also handled the docket of as uh, energy minister during his time. Well, uh, in, indeed, uh, the passing on of Honorable Biwot is really sad to, to us and the whole country. Um, when I caught the news, uh, you know, it's some of the news that you don't want to believe it has really happened. But at this time it has happened and uh, mine is to really uh, console the family, pray for them so that at this uh, time of need they may be strong enough and all the friends, because Biwot was a mentor. Uh, the, the office I'm sitting at, even the same position is where he sat. And he used to call me and tell me, that is my office, take care of it very well. So we learn a lot from him. I particularly, I learn a lot from him. And, and not only me, I know it's so many, so many young people. He met us, so many of us, uh, work-wise, uh, in politics. I mean, because he was in politics for a long time. Some of us were young, and we borrowed a lot of good things from him. So the loss of Biwot is a big blow to so many of us and we wish the family all the best at this time and all the friends and God bless them wherever they are. Okay, probably now, William T. Put, uh, just yes. tell us, you are his personal assistant having served for so many so many years with the deceased, or maybe with this particular but he's passing on just tell us a bit of your reflections about uh, Indeed, it is a sad day to all Kenyans that have lost a father, we've lost a mentor, the person who made me to be what I am today. 
that the cruel land of death has robbed the life of somebody who was Honorable B. What I had deposited it in my own heart. It is very sad. I don't have anything to say. In fact, I don't have words. Thank you. And His Ex <coughs> uh, Honorable B. What was supporting His Excellency, the President of the Republic, Uru Kenyatta, and he was supporting His Excellency, Deputy President William Ruto. That's all that I can say. It is a sad day. Thank you. Allahu Abraham. Abraham. Come. No Abraham. Uh, well, I want to express my deep condolences for the death of Mr. Honorable Biwat. Honorable Biwat is a person that I have lived with for many years. We were together in school and we started in the 50s. And um, I want to say that uh, when I joined government, he was also in politics. I want to say that uh, Honorable Biwat was a servant of the people. He served the people very well. And I want to say that uh, the development in the country was uh, part of it. He contributed very largely because Biwat was not a very, a very mean person particularly in helping the people. So I want to say that uh, we have lost a great man. We have lost a great man. Pengine, most of you may not know, he was, he started well with uh, President Moy when he was still vice president. And we continued together for many years, for many years. I have actually been shocked now that he, he has passed away. That's why I have rushed to come in and see the body here. Because it has, it, was, it has really affected me. He's a person that had a lot of, develop, uh, a lot of ideas for development for the country. And he has contributed for Kenya, Kenya development in many areas, not only in politics, but the entire country development, Amefanya Mingi. Even in uh, El Geo Maracuay district, he has, he has contributed so much. And uh, I think I, I cannot actually express all that I know about him. He is a person that uh, is very brilliant. He's got very good ideas. And he's actually a person who can plan for the country, even as far as development is concerned. So I want to say, I am really very, very, very depressed because this was a person that we have always looked to as a leader of, the, of this country. I want to say that uh, Honorable Biwot was an advisor to many presidents who have come into power. And he did it without even caring about the parties and so on. So I want to say that we have lost a great man. Up to there, I'm in a Semakwa family. I'm sorry for the family. We regret, we say, Paul Esana, because I know it's a big loss to the entire family. Up to there, I want to say, Paul Esana, I hope we will, we will be able to, to do the, the final uh, funeral properly. Thank you very much. Kwanza mimi nataka niseme leo imekuwa siku ingine ngumu kwa Kenya. Asua sisi watu wa Well, it is coming up to 3 p.m. here in Nairobi. And if you're just joining us,